Hello everyone. Welcome to Master Class. Oppa teaches Korean. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello, this is Young Seo and I'm Korean and stay in Singapore for six years and a half. Uh, every Saturday, I'm teaching a uh, Korean class in the loft. So if you're really interested in, please come to loft. Okay, last week, we already, uh, I taught you and we already learned what kind of things about uh, autumn or fall in Korea. So kind of the words uh, related to the autumn and what kind of foods we can enjoy. And also some proverbs we learned last week. Okay, also this week. So almost same. It's a kind of part two. So first, I will teach about autumn or fall, 가을. And uh, second one is the uh, what kind of cloth we are wearing during autumn. And third one, the a lot of festivals are holding a uh, hell during autumn season because weather is so nice and what one yeah always we are waiting for this time right snack time kind of time yeah please wait uh what kind of snacks are we share today and number fifth number five q a session 무엇이든 물어보세요 okay as i share with you uh, uh also we learned last week First one was uh, kind of the things that we learned autumn, right? Sorry. Uh, so, 가을. 가을 is uh, kind of the season in Korea we call autumn and fall. 가을. 가을. And yes, uh, then uh, roughly I will teach you about the other seasons. Home is spring. Spring, home. Spring, home. In summer, yeah, Singapore is always hot weather, right? Summer, 여름. 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 Summer, 가을, autumn. 가을, autumn. And last one, I'm always waiting for this season. Only five minutes because it's very cold. Winter, 겨울. Winter, 겨울. Okay, rep, uh, again, repeat again. Home, spring. Spring, home. Summer, 여름. Summer, 여름. Autumn, 가을. Autumn. And last one, winter, 겨울. Winter, 겨울. Oh, okay. Hello, Sengan. Yeah. Hello, Cindy. Yeah. You are, many guys are joining today. Welcome. And if you have any question, please leave the comment. Then, yes, I will support you. Okay, as I shared you, let's uh, figure out what kind of cloth they are wearing during uh, autumn season. So uh, as of now, when I check the weather, uh, Korea as of now, during the day, very hot, uh, most high temperature is 20 degrees. And morning or night, it's only 5 degrees. So quite cold at night and during the day, very uh, warm, cool. Yeah, cool. Comparing Singapore, quite cool. But it's a uh, 15 degrees uh, temperature gap. So yeah, uh, during the day, uh, guys are just wearing uh, long sleeves and night wearing a cardigan or sweater or kind of the jacket they are wearing. So many things are terms in uh, wearing in Korea. So let's uh, 
uh, learn about this. Hello, Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear uh, you are calling me Oppa. <laughs> okay, first one. Long sleep shirts. Long sleep shirts is a yeah. They are comparing the just uh, short sleep. We uh, during the autumn season we are wearing long sleep, right? So we call kim pai, kim pai, kim pai, kin ah kin kin means a uh, long, pai, arm, long arm. Exactly the meaning is ah uh, kim pai is long sleep. So ah uh, comparing yeah the this long sleep shirt. What about just T-shirt, crew neck shirt. Sure, ah, uh, it, it means we call pan pal. Pan pal, pan. Pan means a uh, half, pal arm, half arm, pan pal. So we call this shirt pan pal, pan pal. So yeah, yeah. Always we are uh, wearing the. A long sleep shirt during uh, autumn or winter, so we call kin pai, kin pai. Okay, next one, button down shirts, button down shirts. It's uh yeah, we call nambang, 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 button down shirts, nambang. Nambang, uh, kind of the dress shirt when you are wearing a for a business, uh, casual or wearing a suit. You are wearing a the white, uh, shirt, right? White button down shirt. We call in Korea a little bit different. Y shirt, Y shirt. Yeah, alphabet Y, Y shirt. So yeah, I don't know why, but yeah, there's a neck. Uh, uh, seems like V neck shirt. So that is why uh looks like Y. So we call Y shirt. Y shirt. Kind of the hmm, Konglish. Uh, also I will share the another Konglish later. Nambang, button down shirt. Nambang, button down shirt. Yeah, I like this uh, button-down shirt. So during the autumn, I always wearing a uh, shorts with a uh, long uh, button-down shirts. So during the day, very warm. Sometimes very hot. So I just roll up my sleeves, then very cool. And then at night, if re uh, the wet uh, temperature quite low, then I can uh, roll down to cover my arm. Then keep me warm. So yeah, button down shirt. I like it. Okay, next one is yeah, hoodie in Korean, hoodie tee, <laughs> hoodie tee. Yeah, hoodie, hood tee. Yeah, uh, in Korea, yeah, this one is uh yeah attaching a muffle, the kind of the sweatshirt, right? Uh, yeah, I prefer this one wearing during the autumn when I was a university student. Yeah, quite keep me warm and very uh, comfy at night. Also, uh, during uh, midterm exam or final exam, I need to stay in uh, li library all night. Then just bring this uh, hood tea, and then when I'm sleeping, just Wear the muff and then take a nap on the table and keep studying. Yeah, that is how I yeah wearing this hoodie when I was in a uh, university student. Okay, hoodie tee, hoodie tee. So yeah, kind of things that uh the we are call t-shirt combining with other uh, words together. T-shirt, uh. Yeah, kind of the color red. Balgan uh, t-shirt. So T is a uh, the meaning is a uh, kind of the shirt. So yeah, we use a lot of 
is word T-shirt. So food T, yeah, kind of the foodie, yeah. And then next one, windbreaker, windbreaker. Yeah, this one is quite uh, useful, yeah, and comfortable. So even though when very windy at night or suddenly there's a rain, then just wearing this windbreaker, and also waterproof, also keep you warm. Windbreaker in Korean, 바람 마기. 바람 마기. 바람, wind. 마기, uh, block. 마기 is a 막다 from uh, blocking. Yeah, coming from the verb uh, 막다. So 막이 is a noun as a blocking. So almost same meaning as windbreaker, right? 바람 마기. 바람 마기. 음, 바람 마기. Uh, this kind of uh, windbreaker, uh, not many youngsters are wearing up, but this one is quite a good performance for when you hiking. Go to mountain, yeah, a lot of uh, parents' generation or yeah, older generations are wearing these very, very colorful windbreaker. It's a kind of the yeah, red or blue or a lot of, yeah. So when you see this uh, slide, the guy and lady actually wearing a, a windbreaker, these brands are from the outdoor brands. Okay, 바람막이, 바람막이. Okay, next one, denim jacket, denim jacket. In Korean, we call chong jacket. Chong jacket. Chong. Chong means blue. Jacket is yeah jacket. So chong jacket. Actually, uh, we call denim, denim trouser. Yeah, we call chong baji. Chong blue, baji pants. Blue pants. So because of the denim color is blue, right? So also same material as made uh, of jacket. So we call chong jacket, blue jacket, chong jacket, chong jacket. So when you go to a uh, uh, clothes shop in Korea, so you want the denim, denim jacket or denim pants, then you can call chong baji 주세요. 청바지 주세요 or 청자켓 주세요 청자켓 주세요 청바지 주세요 청자켓 주세요 So yeah, it's quite easy to remember just blue jacket we call denim jacket we call 청자켓 청자켓 Okay, next one Yeah, this one is my favorite leather jacket leather jacket uh, we call 가죽 자켓. 가죽 자켓. 가죽. 가죽 is leather. So, uh, we call 가죽 자켓. Mm. Uh, this one, yeah, really my favorite. But in Singapore, very hot weather. So, I'm so sad that I cannot bring my leather jacket from Korea. I cannot wear it in Singapore. So, yeah, I saw a guy wearing a leather jacket looks uh, in Singapore. He was wearing this one in MRT station. Uh, yeah, he looks like quite um, hipster. <laughs> yeah, mm, but only once uh, in my life when I stay in Singapore six years. Yeah, 가죽 jacket, 가죽 jacket. This one is a uh, very soft and during the day just you can uh, bring very light so you can just uh, put it at the back and at night if you cold then you can wear this also there's no wrinkle at all and very soft and keep you very warm so leather jacket i really like it leather 가죽 jacket 가죽 jacket 
leather, 가죽, leather, 가죽. Oh, Cindy said, "Oh, buy his hipster too." Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> okay, if you come to my class, then you can also enjoy my snacks. Yes, I, I definitely I can share with you. Okay, next one, trench coat, trench coat. But many guys in Korea we call trench coat as bobody, bobody. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I know it's a brand name, Burberry, right? But Burberry is very famous for trench coat, uh, 80s, 90s. So, yeah, always uh, trench coat we call Burberry. Now, young guys are called this trench coat, but still, uh, many uh, people are called trench coat as Burberry. Burberry. Mm. Also, yeah, uh, my father uh, wore Burberry during autumn or winter too. So uh, this one is very good for uh, wind breaking and keep you warm. But suddenly my dad didn't wear because it's a quite uh, overfit size for him. So... Uh, but now the fashion is keep changing, right? So as you see the slide, when uh, guys are wearing quite overfit and bulky size, I can sure that my dad will wear again this trench coat, bubbly again this win uh, autumn and winter. Trench coat, bubbly. Trench coat, bubbly. Yes, just bubbly. If you go to uh, close shop and you can say "Bobody, Juseo," then they will understand. Bring the trench coat for you. Bobody. Okay. Next one is fall festival because weather is so nice. So uh, comparing summer, uh, fall, autumn is less rain and always clear and weather is so cool so it's very good time to do uh, outdoor activities so many festivals are held during this september october november yeah be until beginning of november so uh, from the middle of november uh, and then december January, February, it's a uh, winter season. So let's see uh, what kind of uh, fall festival we can enjoy. Okay, this one, you can see the slides. Uh, yeah, a lot of silver grass on the field, right? You can see this uh, silver grass field in Seoul. So we, this one is, we call Seoul Silver Grass Festival. I will share the where it is. Okay, uh, if you travel Korea and stay in Seoul, normally people will stay near Myeongdong. So I will check the how far from Myeongdong to this place. This one is uh, located at Hanul Kongwon. Hanul Kongwon. Hanul. Sky. Kongwon. Park. So, Sky Park. But this park is quite huge. So, uh, just this one is uh, um, next to uh, World Cup Stadium. World Cup Stadium. So, 2002, we had a World Cup with uh, Japan together. There's a big big uh, World Cup stadium in the middle of Seoul and then just next to there we built uh, we uh, made another park uh, this sky park Hanul Kongwon Hanul Kongwon uh, unfortunately uh, this year due to COVID-19 
many festivals are cancelled. So sad. Yeah. So uh, last year, uh, these uh, silver grass festival were held from 13 to 19 October. So almost a week held this season. So if you are planning to visit Korea next year, 2021, then please visit in the middle of October. I recommend you really nice weather and a lot of festivals are waiting for you. So from Myeongdong to here, Hanel Gongwon, uh, by car it takes 34 minutes. Yeah, almost 30 minutes uh, during peak time. So in the morning or at night will be lesser, right? So we'll, taxi fare will be 40,600 won. In Sing dollar, maybe $15 or $16. So yeah, quite cheap. And by Metro, 45 minutes. Because uh, this one is a uh, World Cup Stadium. There's a station just next to stadium. And then you can enjoy access to this park. And by bus from Myeongdong to here, it will take almost one hour. Yeah, I will share the, this uh, park background. Previously, this, uh, this area was uh, kind of the dumping or uh, trashes, rubbishes. So always there are some, when I was young, yeah, always when I stay a little bit far from there, even though far from there, because of the wind, the smells are very bad at night. So you can imagine how huge this place it is. It was, but uh, uh, government to make uh, this uh, World Cup stadium or so uh, they uh, covered by the soil, this area. And uh, then the, when fertilize these trashes, make it a lot of bad. And then this government collecting the, this gas and then make it as a fuel. So yeah, this space, mm, they are using these resources very wisely. So I recommend to visit this park uh, during uh, autumn. Okay. Oh, Jui, Jai Shi, 오셨네요. 안녕하세요. Yes, Shuyun said it's very nice uh, time to travel in Korea during autumn. Also, spring is also good to enjoy the cherry blossom. Also, autumn, nice season. Uh, enjoy the festival. Also, foods. Okay, next place, 불꽃축제. 불꽃축제, uh, fireworks. This one also held in Seoul. Uh, if you see the slide, then uh, there's a place named Yeoido. Yeoido is a huge island. Like, uh, um, yeah, government make this island quite huge, like Sentosa. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, island is uh, very just near the Myeongdong. So you can take the MLT or car within 30 minutes. Yeah, very easy to access. Uh, also, uh, unfortunately, because COVID-19, this fireworks festival canceled this year. Last year, it held 5th of October. But this one, I want to share that, yeah, whenever having these uh, fireworks, always same period that, uh, I wanted to go there, but always there's a midterm exams are same period. So just watch by the TV. <laughs> yeah. If I stay near Yeoido, then yeah, my sister is staying in Yeoido. So she can, she doesn't need to go out. Just she can enjoy this fireworks from her house. But yeah, I couldn't see. Yeah. Uh, she said, yeah, nice all year long. Mm, 
oh, winter. If you really want to enjoy the cold weather, if you are really polar bear, then you can go. You can go. <laughs> uh, three years ago, I when I visit uh, Korea with my wife. At the time, it was fiance, and with my uh, parents in law. At the time, it was below. 14 degrees, <laughs> minus 14 degrees. Uh, mm. Luckily, at that time, I didn't uh, got, uh, get a cold, uh, catch a cold, and, but at, I need to wear the thermal inside and then knock down jacket and then wear the beanie muffler mm, to protect my, <laughs> my body. <laughs> yes, crazy, 14 degrees, wow. Yes, next one is, yes, also, uh, not only some uh, festivals in Seoul, also uh, there's a big festival in Busan, Busan International Film Festival. This one is quite famous, uh, one of three biggest uh, best film festivals in Asia, uh, Hong Kong and Tokyo and Busan. This one, this film festival was starting 1996. So almost more than 24 years, 25 years. So quite a long time. So yeah, this one, not only enjoying Busan film festival, also you can enjoy a uh, quite nice sad scene in Busan and also yummy food, uh, a little bit different from Seoul, but I recommend. Yeah, worthy to visit uh, Busan uh, one day, maximum two days trip, and you can enjoy. Uh, don't be, uh, don't frustrate when you learn Korean, but this, your learning Korean is a quite standard, only you can use in Seoul. <laughs> uh, if you go Busan, dialect is quite uh, strong, so. Sometimes you are in trouble to use this. <laughs> you learn Korean, so don't worry. Don't worry. Mm. From Busan, uh, from Seoul to Busan is quite far, almost 400 kilometers. So by car, it will take uh, four hours and 30 minutes or 50 minutes. And uh, don't worry, there's a, a bullet train bullet train so it will take two hours and 30 minutes and it will take uh almost uh sixty thousand won in sing, sing dollar uh seventy dollar but this one is uh one way so round round three or will be uh, charged one thousand uh, 140 uh, dollars but worthy worthy to pay so will take only two hours and 30 minutes and there's a lot of airlines also will if you find nice uh super nice deal they're also cheaper than train bullet train oh yeah uh, jasmine said what food do you recommend us to eat when you are in busan oh yeah many foods yes uh first one uh we can call cook pop cook is soup. Pop is rice. Normally, soup is a uh, uh, pork, pork organ. But uh, normally, the sliced uh, steamed pork. And then soup is quite thick, uh, boiling long time of the pork bones, but not smelly at all. Uh, very clear and mild. And when you have it, then feels so hearty and warm and also they provide the unlimited kimchi <laughs> so yeah oh my mouth is watering now <laughs> i'm really yeah enjoying that also they are selling the um, that one is a dumpling or fried one it's a quite flat one flat dumpling not jack manju Napjak manju. So yeah, this one I really recommend for you. Napjak manju. 
Uh, you can enjoy with a uh, tteokbokki, dipping at the uh, red sauce and tteokbokki, and then napchak manju. And then if you really craving for food, yeah, kukbap or yeah, Busan is uh, just near to ocean. It's a, it's a port city, so a lot of fresh foods are there. So, um, sashimi or sushi with soju. <laughs> really, you can enjoy it. Yes, yes. Mm, I recommend you. Mm, yeah, Shuyun said, Train to Busan is the movie. Uh, yeah, recently there's a Peninsula, the Train to Busan part two, right? Mm, the main hero chain, but he still is very handsome. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we're having uh, kukbap, unlimited kimchi. Yes, good, omo omo. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Thick soup that is rich in collagen from pork bones. Yes, correct. Also, not only uh, uh, pork soup, also chicken feet. The feet yeah, full of collagen. <laughs> mm, yeah, we also Koreans enjoying chicken feet. But this one is a little bit different from Singapore. That uh, in Singapore, one is uh, braised with uh, uh, vinegar and soya sauce. But in Korea, very spicy very spicy so uh when you release your stress some people are trying this very spicy chicken feet to release yeah if you have very spicy one then sometimes feel the torturing your body and your mouth and tongue then suddenly people feel that yeah releasing your stress Try. <laughs> okay, Korea is also famous for bibimbap, right? So, Jeonju Bibimbap Festival. Jeonju, Jeonju. Okay, we uh, Busan is a little bit eastern and southern part, right? Jeonju is quite uh, western and southern, southern western. Jeonju. Bibimbap. I recommend not only Busan, also Jeonju because very famous for uh, Korea Pork Village. There's a Korea House Pork Village in Jeonju. You can enjoy this uh, Korean cheap, traditional pork village there. Also, Jeonju is very Famous for yummy food. Yeah, really nice, really nice. So, uh, if you go there, not only bibimbap, a lot of uh, yummy food in there. For example, uh, some restaurants, if you go there and you order a kettle of rice wine, then they will give you Unlimited side dishes and main dishes. Quite interesting, right? In Singapore, we have ordered main dishes and rice wine. But in, if you go to Jeonju, it's different. A kettle of uh, rice wine, it charge only $8 or $9. Then they will serve you main dishes and side dishes a lot of uh, and these uh, side dishes are very high standard very yummy and it doesn't matter how many people are there four packs or five packs or ten packs it doesn't matter if you order the kettle of rice wine then they will serve unlimited main dishes and side dishes so they earn the money that how many kettles you are order. If you order two kettles or three kettles of rice wine, then main dish will different. So if you order more, then more nice and 
Tas, Mendish, uh, yeah, Auntie will serve you. Yeah, I recommend. So from Seoul to Jeonju, yeah, quite far, but yeah, closer than uh, Busan. Comparing Busan, Jeonju is closer. So by car, it takes three hours. Yeah, comparing Busan, Busan takes four hours and 30 minutes, right? Uh, Jeonju takes three hours and 20 minutes. And by train, also this one is bullet train, one hour, one hour and 30 minutes. And it will charge 34,401 in sing dollar, almost uh, $40, $40. Hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, Jasmine said, yeah, about the chicken feet. Uh, eat spicy stuff will literally release steam out. When steam out, also stress out. Yes, I think so. Uh -huh. And Korean rice wine, kebab. Yeah, really, I like it. Uh, yeah, I share the tips that, yeah, when having a office, we have a summer party in last month in the office, and I brought rice wine. And then I share with all of my colleagues together and they really enjoy it because it's very smooth and then sweet. Yeah, so yeah, everyone missed the pancake at the time. <laughs> uh, mm. And then kettle of rice wine, wow, yeah. Mm. Side dishes and main dishes. Uh, yeah, you can control the catches of wine. Uh, you can, uh, normally, uh, yeah, auntie will give you a of rice wine and then we have each own, um, bowl. Yeah. So we pour at the bowl and then we drink and we, uh, uh cheers and chan together and drink. Yeah. This is how I enjoy rice wine in Korea. Okay, uh, next one is uh, Proverbs for four. Yeah, last time, last week, I shared a very, uh, quite interesting one, right? When grilling the, the uh, Gizar Che, the, uh, who, the daughter-in-law will return again, <laughs> and sky is high, and uh, uh, horse are getting uh, fat, fatty, okay. Another proverbs for four. Yeah, also uh, this one is, uh, it's a good season to catch the prawn. So autumn prawn straightens the bent waist. So this one is kind of the full of the nutrition and very good uh, timing to have this food. So even you are very sick and then you're uh, bag is like a hunch when you have this and then you getting a lot of energy then straighten your waist and back <laughs> so uh, autumn prawns straighten the, your bent waist or hunch back yeah just kind of the uh, proverb about food next one also this one is a kind of the uh, vegetable when having left us, lock the door. It means very, same as the autumn prawn, very nutritious and very yummy and very soft. So uh, Koreans having this uh, lettuce with, when having samgyeopsal, Korean BBQ, always wrapping lettuce, uh, yeah, uh, Korean BBQ wrapping with lettuce. So, uh, when you are uh, getting these lettuce during autumn, very soft, nice, nice, uh, full of uh, fragrance. So good, harmonized with Korean BBQ. So when having lettuce, lock the door because it's very yummy and delicious. Please uh, finish by yourself. Yes, uh, Jasmine is uh, sharing. Yeah. Korean proverbs are so interesting. Yes. Mm. Eating prawn is in autumn is good. Yes. Not only prawns. I, last week I shared with you that uh, 
also flower crab is a good timing to catch. So during the autumn, not only prawn, also flower cra crabs they are catching and then make it marinate. So this one is becoming yangnyeom gejang, ganjang gejang. Yeah, yeah, ganjang gejang, yangnyeom gejang. Yangnyeom is a spicy one and uh, ganjang is a soya sauce. Really nice. Uh, if you have uh, just normal ganjang uh, gejang, uh, just one crab, you can finish your a bowl of rice. Yeah, sometimes not enough. So, yeah, uh, during autumn, good uh, season for having a crab, uh, flower crab or prawn. Mm. Yes. Yes, hope Tommy learn a lot of new things. Yes. Last one. Avoid the full rain under the broom. I share a lot about your uh, about the autumn weather, right? So uh, comparing summer, there are a lot of uh, rain, rain showers or sudden rain. Uh, but during autumn, really less rain because so that is why uh, weather is so nice and outdoor activities a lot during autumn season. So very less rain. So we can avoid the rain under the broom. Yeah. So very uh, small rains during autumn season. In Korean, 가을 비는 가을 비는 가을 autumn 비 rain 가, uh, autumn rain 가을 비는 빗자루로 빗자루 부름 빗자루 부름 피한다 avoid 피한다 avoid 가을 비는 uh, autumn rain 빗자루로 under the broom, 피한다. Avoid. 가을비는 빗자루로 피한다. Yes. Mm, Tommy said, uh, flower crabs and prawns, yummy. Yeah, really, I'm missing. Even though it's grilling or steaming, yeah, my favorite. Okay, ah, this one is the last one. Also about the food, it's an autumn rice. It's an autumn rice. Yeah, actually, during the autumn, we harvest the rice, right? But uh, except autumn, spring, summer, and winter, it's hard to find rice. So only season autumn we are cropping. So if nine of crop, then always during uh, winter, summer, and autumn, we have to find the other uh, ingredients like uh, wheat or barley instead of rice. Always we are having rice when having a meal, but not enough rice, we always looking for other substitute. During, uh, during these uh, days, uh, during these seasons, three seasons, rice is very precious. Yeah, very precious. But only autumn time, it's very common. So when cold autumn rice, uh, just normal day, very hard to find, only autumn, very common. So uh, yeah, in Korean, we, we call in Korean, 가을 쌀밥이다. 가을 autumn 쌀, rice, 밥, rice, 이다. 가을 쌀밥이다. 가을 쌀밥이다. 가을 쌀밥이다. 가을 쌀밥이다 is yeah, it's very common now, but later or sooner will be lack of this rice, <laughs> lack of these things. So, hmm, only this moment we can find very easily. Okay, this one is the last one. Okay, it's snack time. <laughs> Okay, last week I shared with you tteokbokki, right? This week, mm, I want to share this one, very famous one. Tteokbokki. <laughs> yeah, tteokbokki. So 
this one is uh, when I cut it down like this. Looks like this. Okay. This one is coated by chocolate. Coated by chocolate. And then at the side, it, there's a no, cake. And then inside, there's a marshmallow. This one is original one. And then this one is new flavor. There's another layer of banana jam, banana syrup. So if you see there, then yeah, there's a white one is marshmallow. The yellow one is banana jam. So normally when you have this choco pie, mm, just only you can taste the chocolate and cake and marshmallow. This one, very strong flavor of banana. So I want to share it with you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, Angie. I hope you enjoy. No more? Yeah, no more. Okay, then I will en yeah, enjoy myself. This one. Mm, choco pie, banana mat, choco pie, banana flavor, choco pie. Mm. Mm. How is it? Sweet? Mm. You like it? Okay, as a souvenir, I will give you one more. Yeah, yeah. This one is uh, Orion brand. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Orion brand is very famous for choco pie. And yeah, actually many companies are making choco pie, but especially Orion is very famous, this choco pie. And you can see this Chinese letter, Chong, Qing. Hmm. Yeah. So when you see this uh, uh, Chinese letter on the package, then you can, yeah, you are, you are choosing the right one, correct one. This one, yeah, I recommend you that one of the famous Korean snack in Korea. So, mm, if you, uh, this one also suddenly also very popular for mm, soldiers because uh, when they join uh, uh, national service for six weeks, they cannot eat any sweet things. And uh, only during the weekend, uh, there's a certain time that we can go to uh, temple or church and carefully. Then after finish that uh, service, uh, they will provide choco pie. And uh, the one that uh, Coca-Cola, yes. So only two sweet things once a week, they can have this one, choco pie and the Coke. So that is why they are so crazy for having this choco pie. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like it very sweet. Mm. Yeah, uh, Audrey said it looks so yummy. Yeah, I can share with you another packet or uh, four more packets in my house. So mm, I can share with you. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah, that's all I want to share today. So if you have any question, yeah, please ask question time. Mm. Yeah, another snacks like a choco pie or so I can bring some, uh, kind of the sweet candies, very small, but it's a uh, kind of the texture like marshmallow. Uh, kind of the caramel, yeah, will be very interesting. So this one I will share next week. So I hope you guys also attending next week my session. Uh, that's all I want to share today. And yeah, mm, tomorrow a lot of sessions that mm, in the morning we have a uh, exercise and in the afternoon uh, there's a uh, 
challenge uh, black pearl and white pearl and then also skincare and then um, also food uh how to make yes a lot of things you can enjoy if you follow atspear.com uh atspear from the facebook page and like us share with us okay uh uh, you guys hope uh, hope you guys enjoy your Saturday and Sunday weekend and see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>